the inventory of nuclear warheads remains very high. Nine countries possess roughly 12,700 warheads as of 2022. Approximately 90% of all nuclear warheads are owned by Russia and the United States. Each own more than 5,000. The overall inventory of nuclear weapons in the world is declining, but the pace of reduction has slowed over the last 30 years. Of the world's 12,700 nuclear warheads, more than 9,400 are in military stockpiles for use by missiles, aircraft, ships and submarines. Russia released classified footage of the world's largest nuclear explosion only in 2020 to mark the 75th anniversary of Russia's atomic industry. And it is perhaps most effective as a signal, nothing more, of Russia's power. Its very size and scale make it difficult to use. Any plane that would have had to carry the Tsar bomber would not be able to carry enough fuel to reach its target. However, the possibility of Russia placing similar warheads on powerful intercontinental ballistic missiles does exist. And this would bring cities on the other side of the globe into Moscow's crosshairs. It was fantastic, unreal, supernatural. The bomb was 8 meters long, had a diameter of nearly 2.6 meters and weighed more than 27 tons, the weight of 5 elephants. It was so big, it couldn't even fit in the internal bay of the huge plane that flew it to the test site. And the scale of its power was staggering. First in a test in the United States, New Mexico. It was 2,000 times more powerful than the American bomb dropped on Nagasaki. 10 times the total firepower used in the entire Second World War. Little boy was 15 kilotons of TNT. The Tsar bomber was equivalent to 58 megatons of TNT. As immense as it was, the Tsar bomber was still only half as powerful as its original plan. The first blueprint was for a bomb with a 100 megaton yield. But Soviet scientists feared the radiation could blanket the entire northern part of the Soviet Union. Eventually, the original three layers of uranium were replaced with three layers of lead to cut its impact in half. That call was taken by one of the three people who played critical roles in the journey of the Tsar bomber. And destroy the world several times over. Today, humanity is just one misunderstanding, one miscalculation away from nuclear annihilation. Superpowers in a battle for supremacy in Ukraine. The fundamental role of U.S. nuclear weapons is to deter nuclear attacks on the United States, on our allies and partners. They are bragging that they can destroy with nuclear weapons not only uh, a certain country but the entire planet. With nuclear armed nations locking horns, could the course of war force Russia to resort to its deadly nuclear weapons? And in Putin's nuclear arsenal is the biggest weapon ever made. The world's largest ever nuclear device. The Tsar bomber. Or the emperor of bombs. October 30th, 1961. The peak of the Cold War, and Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev sent an unmistakable warning to the West. A Soviet 295V bomber took off from the Olenia airfield in the Kola Peninsula, in the far north of Russia. The plane, painted bright white to lessen the impact of the mega bomb's flash, arrived at its target point. Novia Zamalia a sparsely populated area in the Barents Sea. The pilot brought his bear bomber to Mityushi Kabe, a Soviet testing range at a height of 34,000 feet. Following him was another modified 216 to film the blast that would make history. The massive bomb was attached to a parachute meant to delay its fall and the detonation, an attempt to give the pilot enough time to fly out of range. 
Even so, the chances of survival for the Soviet crew were grim. The odds were only 50% that they would live. They reached their destination, opened the locks and dropped their deadly cargo. At 11.32 a.m. Moscow time, the bomb exploded. It created a fireball eight kilometers wide. The explosion produced about 57,000 kilotons of energy. It was so intense that the flash could be seen from a thousand kilometers away. Severny, an uninhabited village 55 kilometers from ground zero, was leveled. All buildings within this radius were completely destroyed. Windows within hundreds of kilometers were broken. The bomb was detonated 